Today, we are going to take a look into transparent materials inside Unreal Engine 5. More specifically, we are going to talk about DITER and how to optimize our translucent materials either for larger scenes where we can use it for some of the vegetation to fade away or use it for mobile platforms where performance is a must. Without further ado, I'm Stefan and let's get right into it. First thing, we are going to create a new master material inside our viewport. And I'm also going to create a second one because we are going to use it to compare the performance. Let's first start with a regular transparent material. We are going to just add color, change our blend mode for opaque to translucent. And then I'm going to right click and put a linear gradient. We can of course use a texture, but for our showcase, I'm going to use a gradient. Connecting this to opacity. Now I'm going to bring a plane onto our scene and assign our material. You can already see our result. So we have a plane that has a little bit of an opacity. The thing is that if we go to lit and then to optimization viewport, and then we go into shader complexity, you can see that the shader for this very simple effect is actually not very optimized. I'm going to duplicate our plane and this time we are going to assign the other material. Now let's go to the master material. I'm copy pasting the same color node. This time from our blend mode, instead of translucent, we are going to use masked. I'm going to right click and add the same gradient, but this time before connecting it, we are going to add a dither connecting the result to opacity mask. And going back to the viewport, you can see that we are starting to get a very similar result. But if we go into lit and check our shader optimization, we can see that the dither is actually a lot cheaper. You might ask yourself why we had to use the dither and we couldn't just move from translucent to masked. This is something that's not going to work because if we go back to our first material, move this to mask and connect it, then apply it. You can see that we are going to get this hard cut. This is because by default, mask is going to work either one or zero. So there is either transparency or not. As you can imagine, this is a great effect to use for dissolving objects that are blocking your player view. If you want to learn how to do that, I'll put a link down in the description below, or you can check the one in the corner. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe and follow for more game development tutorials. See you next time.